Hey everyone, welcome to another episode in the Gym Beginner series. Today we're gonna to be doing an overview of nutrition. I'm gonna be covering macronutrients and calories. If you're working towards any fitness goal, whether it be muscle gain, weight loss, or improving your performance, nutrition is gonna play a key role. First, let's talk about macronutrients. Macronutrients are the building blocks of your diet. There are three main ones, which are proteins, carbs, and fats. Proteins are essential for building and repairing muscles, and they're gonna be the foundation of your fitness progress. Oftentimes, people supplement their protein intake in the form of powders and bars to get even more in their diet. Next, we have carbohydrates, and carbohydrates are your body's main energy source. They fuel your workouts and keep you energized throughout the day. Fats are stored energy and are crucial for hormone production and cellular function, and often get a bad reputation. However, they're necessary to include in your diet in the proper portions so your body functions correctly. The next important thing we want to cover are calories. Calories measure the energy you get from food, and each gram of a macronutrient is constituted by a certain number of calories. Protein provides 4 calories per gram, carbohydrates provide 4 calories per gram, and fats provide 9 calories per gram. Everything you eat is made up of macronutrients and calories, and a pound of weight is typically corresponded by 3,500 calories. If your fitness goal is to lose weight and fat, you need to be in a calorie deficit meaning you consume fewer calories than you burn. If you want to gain muscle mass, you should be in a calorie surplus, which means consuming more calories than you burn. Since these two goals are contradictory, it's often easier to focus on one goal at a time. And it's important to know that your body already burns a certain number of calories, so you want to factor that in as well. By using calculators online, you can figure out how many calories and macronutrients you need in order to reach certain goals. These calculators factor in your weight, age, and activity level. So let me go ahead and show you how an online calculator works. So here I am on the website calculator.net slash micro hyphen calculator.html. And basically we're gonna plug in our information here with our goal, the activity, it's active, goal is to lose weight. So for me, I would need 126 grams of protein a day, 275 grams of carbs, 59 grams of fat. And at the bottom you see how many calories that is. So for me, that's around 2000. And I could also choose which diet I prefer so go ahead and try this calculator out I'll have the link in my description so you can see what numbers you should be aiming for now that you know where your number should be how do you track your intake well tools like my fitness pal and lose it can help you log your meals and monitor your calorie and macronutrient intake understanding portion sizes is also key a portion of protein should be about the size of your palm a portion of carbs should be about the size of your fist and a portion of fats should be the size of your thumb and you can be more precise by using something like a food scale and when you track consistently, you gain insights into your eating habits and can adjust your goals accordingly. Now processed versus whole foods. When it comes to nutrition, choosing whole foods over processed ones can make a huge difference. Whole foods are minimally processed and are packed with nutrients, and examples include fresh fruit, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Processed foods often contain added sugars, unhealthy fats, and preservatives. Examples include fast food, packaged snacks, and sodas. Focusing on whole foods can help you feel fuller, boost your energy, and improve your overall health. And while minimally processed foods are ideal for providing essential nutrients, enjoying processed foods in moderation can still fit into your healthy lifestyle. The key here is balance and awareness. Processed foods can add convenience and a variety to your diet, and it can still be enjoyed without derailing all of the progress you're making on your fitness journey, especially if they fit in your calorie and macronutrient goals. There's a big psychological aspect to all of this too, where depriving yourself of foods you enjoy can actually lead to binge eating or an unhealthy relationship with food. So try to view processed foods as an occasional treat, as opposed to a dietary staple. And also keep in mind portions. That way you can still stay on track with your fitness goals while still enjoying foods you enjoy. So now that you understand the basics of macronutrients and calories, in the next episode, we'll go over some of the highest quality foods you can buy at the grocery store. Thanks for watching.